heart is long for this moment with thee. I choose to worship. Uh, six and seven. Uh, I have a ASV version, uh, American Standard version, and mine reads just a little different, maybe than the regular King James. It says, "For unto us." A child is born, unto us a son is given, given, and the government, the government, shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of the and of peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and, unto, and upon his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from henceforth even forever. The zeal of Jehovah, the host, will perform it. And the church said, Amen. Last week was an uh, incredible week for me. I, uh, I began to get glimpses and insights of kingdom principles that have not um, have not taken place in my life uh, the these sixty some odd years that I've been living. And the more I see and understand about the kingdom of God, the more I'm, it, I, it's just like, like a light bulb come on, and the more I'm, I'm the more I see, the more I see. So that's, that's that, is that safe to say that? You, you know, the more I see, the more I see, I see more than I see. Whatever, one day I just see a whole lot. How about that? <laughs> I just, yeah, you know. and, and kingdom principle, um, it's something that, it, it, to be honest with you, when we had uh, the Bible College, we had all kinds of classes. We had classes on theology, we had classes on hermeneutics, on homiletics, we had classes on systematic theology, we had classes on all the books of the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament survey, classes on the life of, of Jesus uh, and Christ, and, and classes on Daniel and Revelation, we had prophecy, we had classes on the theology of worship, come on somebody help me, we had all, I mean all kinds of classes, we had, we had psychology and, 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 and patho, psycho, anyway, <laughs> all kinds of classes, counseling, but we never had a class on kingdom. You go to most Bible colleges, you see all the similar classes that I shared with you uh, that they offer. But very seldom will you see a class talking about kingdom, teaching about kingdom. <coughs> and and we, we established a couple of Sundays ago that when, when God made Adam, and he made Eve that he gave them come on he gave them dominion okay and when you get dominion well it means I got authority okay and, 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 and the authority that Adam received was he could name the animals he could name and call somebody up in his land he got dominion got authority he on earth I think the next Sunday or the last Sunday, I, I talked about colonization. And I shared with you that, um, that it took 4,000 years for the earth to get stuff right and in place for Jesus to come. It took 4,000 years because they had kings 
and the different kings had kingdoms that conquered this kingdom and conquered the next kingdom. I think I shared with you that when they conquered the kingdom, what they would do was take the people out of the kingdom, take all the, all the natural men, women, all the young men, strong men, smart men, and deport them and take them to another land, to their land. And, and they teach them the language, teach them the culture, and those kind of things. You know Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel. We know that story quite well. And we know that that's what happened to them. They took them down to Nebuchadnezzar, took them down to Babylon. And we know that Daniel and them refused to eat the king's meat, and refused to drink the king's drink, and, and learned the king's language, of the language of the Chaldeans. But we find that Rome was a different kind of kingdom. We know about Easter. And I just want you to understand this, this principle about Rome. Amen. Rome is a different, was a different type of kingdom. Rome would come into the land and conquer the land. But instead of Rome taking the citizens out of the land, they would leave them in the land. Rome would send their procurator, or they would send their tetra, or their governor to the land. And they would rule in that particular land where they were. And they would, everybody had to obey the laws of Rome in that particular land that they conquered. And that was the difference. Instead of taking the people out of the land, Rome would leave them in the land. Well, that's what Jesus did. That's what Jesus ended up doing. He ended up coming here, amen, to establish his kingdom, God's kingdom, here on earth. It was given to man initially in the garden. Man gave it away. Somebody said he gave it away. Sometimes we think that, that the devil took the kingdom. The devil didn't take anything. Man gave it away. Devil do not have authority to take anything from the child of God. The only reason we sin is because we give it away. Y'all help me in this one. Well, we, 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 in this particular text, I, I said, I, I was so happy, man. I looked up, I said, wow, is this Sunday school too? Mm, that's interesting. Uh -huh, so see, and then Sister C, Mr. Singh was teaching Sunday school, and she jumped over. To Matthew, she left Isaiah alone. I said, Go on, God. He, 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 go on, God. Skipped all the way over the readings of Isaiah and, and went on into Matthew. I said, Go on, God. You know how to do it. Because <laughs> if it was Matthew, I didn't have nothing to say. Well, I already got up here. <laughs> I was going to school some tell and just walk through Matthew, tell us in the first chapter, tell us the genealogy about how how that Jesus could be a man and, and, and it could be cited to be the king of kings. In order for him to be the king of kings, he had to come through the lineage of kingship. Amen. Sorry, I'm going to hear and, and, and the kingship lineage came through David. Now, you got to you gotta be a Bible scholar to understand that God had told David, made a promise to him, listen here, David, your, your throne is not going to ever cease. It's going to continue to reign forever and ever. Amen. And so, so somebody had to fulfill to make that happen. Yes. And so that gives us Jesus. Come on. And, and so when you go through Matthews and go through the genealogy, you see David, you see that, that, that Jesus was connected to David by Joseph. Uh -huh. and, and those that are smart enough and witty like I am know that Joseph was not Jesus' earthly father. I'm going to go fast, but I'm going to try to slow down and say it. Jesus natural earthly by a logical father. Somebody help me in this way. I mean just biological out because a lot of tongues will twist around. <laughs> you may say biographical, but he's by not he's by, by a logical father. Uh-huh. But there was a connection there because anyone that was of your household, they got the inheritance and the things that belonged to that household. So because Jesus was attached to that household, he was attached to Joseph. Yeah. Now, make no mistake, when we talk about the virgin birth and Joseph being his, Jesus' earthly father, we are in no wise saying that Jesus, Joseph had anything to do with Mary to have Jesus make cause Jesus to be born. Now I said that real fast, because we still got some youth here, and I hope it didn't go over your head. Somebody here, what's your name? Uh-huh, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I ain't going back. I ain't going to try it no more. <laughs> but, but, but 
Joseph didn't have anything sexually uh, to do with Mary when it comes to him being Jesus' earthly father. But because Jesus was in that household and, and, and Joseph was Mary's wife, I mean Mary was Joseph's wife, and that true marriage, they got what belonged to them. You know what I know, I told them this morning in Sunday school too, that's how we get in to the kingdom. That's how we get a part of the promises. We were grafted in, contrary to nature. Now we're not Jews by birth, no way, no way. I was going say, hey, hey, we are not Jews, uh, not by birth, but we, we, we get the promises that have been packed through Abraham. And we are Abraham's seed, y'all. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Huh? And, and so that's how Joseph was connected, and Jesus was connected to Joseph to be into the miniature kingdom. Because if you go to Matthew, you're going to see in that first chapter that it came all the way down to, to the divinity kingdom going through. And then it says, and from there, we see that Jesus was born. Amen. Well, if we go all the way back to where I took you in the, in the beginning of uh, one of the sermons that I preached, I told you Genesis 3.15 had something to do. It's the prophetic word that came out. One of the first prophecies in the Bible. Genesis, the third chapter, verse 15. And it talked about the seed of the woman that's going to bruise the head of the serpent. And he shall bruise his heel. Well, one Bible class I taught because God gave me a word and I thought about it. And, and, and again, I don't want y'all to think I'm a pervert when I start talking about all these sexual things, but it, it had a lot to do with what we believe. Come on here. Uh, oh yeah, Genesis 3.15 said that the seed of the woman didn't say that it will be a man's seed. Let's us know that the woman was going to have a seed. Huh? And so when, when you got somebody that want to argue with you and fuss with you about Joseph being Jesus' father, the Bible said that the woman was going to have a seed. Now, from 
of us live in righteousness and live in hope. Thank you. 